the life and the passing of one of the greatest men who ever walked the planet. Can we give it up for Nelson Mandela? Now listen, you guys. Hold down, hold down. Let me tell you something. You see, we're all people. We're all human. What affects one affects the other. What affects one country is affected the other country now. All these natural disasters, wars, and rumors of wars and threats of wars going okay. on. You see, I come from Los Angeles, California. You see me on the stage and I look like, oh, this is Jeffrey Daniel, but I came from nothing. I'm telling you this, okay? But let, listen to me. This is, this is a, a means to the story. I was raised by a single mother with two older sisters, and all we had in our house was our music and our love. 
and I carried that on with me. You see, the struggles that were going on in America when I was a kid in the 60s with Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, all the struggles that were going on, one way that we championed and healed ourselves was through the expression of our music and our dance. Shana Mark came over to the UK in the 80s. You guys just opened up your hearts and your, your arms and you just accepted us and it's been a love affair ever since. Now wait a minute, hold on. Doesn't mean it's to the story, you see. Why is this young lady on stage with Shalomar? No, she's not the original Jody Watley. She's not the original member, but let me tell you why. While we were going through a struggle through Soul Train and Chumming Up, it was her father that put Shalomar together, Dick Griffey. So it's all in the family. She was in the studio with us, she was backstage with us growing up. That's why she's baby girl. Carol, Spent the okay. night at Jody's house. <laughs> so it's all love, it's all family. Howard Hewitt came to Los Angeles from Akron, Ohio. I heard this brother singing in a club and I said, oh my God. You see what I'm saying? But listen, here's what I want you to do. Look around the room, look at each other. We have black people, Africans, Jamaicans. We have the British, we have the Irish. We have the Spanish, we have Latin, we have mixed up. Asian. We have everybody. Look at this band. We got Greek, we got Jamaican, we got the UK, we got Trinidad, we got America. So I just want to ask you all just one question. Did color ever really mean anything?